Guess what? You thought fungus is cleared up? No. Oh, your right boob's caught up with the left. No! Oh, you're infected. Oh, can I just get to the point? I wish you would. I'm very busy. <laughs> busy? That sofa's got more of your DNA in it than I do. One day he's going to become sentient and start talking. Well, if this sofa could talk. Oh, I hope so, dear God, stop using me as a fart muffler. <laughs> They're in a box of saucepans. Where have they gone? Hey, you haven't seen anybody wandering around in the hall, have you, Helen, looking a bit lost? I've got a geezer driving down from Leeds to pick up this fine antique rug. Fine antique? Right, well, no wonder he's lost. He's obviously looking for the wrong flat. I do not deal in knockoffs, Helen. <laughs> oh, really? Do tell me. Who's Ducasso? <laughs> he is Percasso's brother. Very, very alike. <laughs> in all but surname. Now, please, stop your yapping and help me find the pans. Is your boy leaking again? No! I've got a dinner date with... What was all this hair in the ashtray? Oh, I had a fight with my bikini line. <laughs> <laughs> mm. A dinner date with who? Well, you know old Nobby in the flat below. Your next words better be, I have strangled him to death with his own cardigan. Why do you two hate each other so much you have lots in common? What? With that fat-stained old hoarder? Do me a favour. <laughs> I know you're hard up, Helen. But dating my sworn nematode? Well, that rules out half of London then, done it? And no, of course it's not Nobby. He's your age, gross. It's his son that I'm going on a date with. Well, that's even worse. How? Our two households are at war. It's like oh. Romeo and Juliet without the happy ending. <laughs> I've not had a date in ages. Let's not pretend you've had a date. Now, I'm not going to budge on this now. I hate Nobby with all my heart. And there's nothing that you can say that will make me change my mind. I'll do the laundry run for a year. Oh. So Nobby has a son. Yeah. And his name's Rob and he's a raging fitty. Helen, I raise you better than that. It's called epilepsy. <laughs> oh, God. You haven't lured him up here with the promise of a medical cure. Only if there's a cure for seduction. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were the cure for seduction. Mm -hmm. How did you trick him? Didn't have to. Rob's flat sitting while Nobby's away and he lost his key and he was about to call a locksmith when... The old credit card shimmy. Hepin Harry. That's my girl. Anyway, one thing got to know, we got to talking and then finally... Oh, you got to pop that rotten old cherry. <sighs> I invited him for dinner. <laughs> oh, well, there's a start. What we have him? You? Nothing. You're going to clear off. What? Oh, oh, no. That was not part of the deal. And if this boy is dating you, he needs watching. Mum, please, I am hosting a seductive soiree like the ones in the Argos catalogue. <laughs> and? And none of them soirees feature a chain-smoking derelict in the background. I won't be in the background. No, that's right, you'll be at bingo. Go on, shake your leg. Come on. <sighs> I see how it is now. I raise you in my guts for 11 months. <laughs> Put a roof over your head for 30 years. And as soon as you get a sign of a little bit of cock, <laughs> I'm off to the guts. <laughs> and you can finally put all your antiques back where you found them. Come on, let's have pizza. My treat. Pizza? That soiree pish. I'm making can apes. <laughs> well, if that involves cooking, you can forget it. You still owe me a deep fat fryer and a set of eyebrows from last time. Yes, yeah, penciled in. Yeah, so are my Kentucky fried eyebrows. <laughs> so where are these canapes then? Right on the bus where I left them. Is this broccoli in date? Never bought broccoli in my life. No, neither have I. Ah! Liver and onions! Perfect! Right, just need a saucepan and a little razzmatazz. Ooh, I wouldn't eat that, Hells. Why, are you saving it for best? No, it was in the fridge when we found it. Oh. <laughs> You'd be scraping razzmatazz off the bog for weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're wearing? Uh, excuse me, I'm not taking fashion advice from a polyester ashtray. <laughs> this is below. Ha! <laughs> is it us? I'm just saying, it wouldn't hurt to show a bit of flesh. Ugh. Dazzle him with the constellations of your back knee. Oh. I knew you'd try and ruin this for me. And you wonder why I don't bring boys back here. Boys? What boys? 
I see boys. The only boys that you see are the piss-stained old duffers that wander into your poxy charity shop. I see boys. I wish you did see boys. Then I could get you married off and out of this flat. Oh, well, prepare to eat those words. That's all we'll be eating at this rate. <laughs> this soiree isn't for you, it's for Rob, and it's going to be bloody magical. Sure, it will start innocently enough. A coquettish smile here and a throaty chuckle there. <laughs> and soon the storm of desire will build, throbbing and twisting until our young hearts heave in a sea of desire. I heave into a bucket. <laughs> this fairy tale don't need a witch. Now on your broom, cos my date with Destiny's about to start any second and I can't wait. But <sighs> oh! tell we're not home! Eh? This place is a dump, dinner is boiling the bag botulism and my can apes are on a sightseeing tour of Tottenham. What was I thinking? Just turn off the lights! What if it's my bloke about the rug? If I want to be a dark web super seller, I cannot risk bad feedback. <laughs> yes, cos I hear reputation is everything that... Mum, don't answer the door, it's gonna be a disaster! That's a risk I am willing to take. <laughs> I'll be. It's a girl that broke into my flat, then invited me for dinner. Behind the settee. Have a rotten night. Mum, Mum, wait, what about dinner? Half the cooking time and don't save me any. Mum, I didn't invite him. Nobby, there must be some sort of mistake. Hello. Oh! Oh, Dad, I told you to wait for me. Hello, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Sorry about him. He was swimming through snakes for a free meal. And tonight... I dine with them. Dad? One more word from you, mate, and you're the first course. You sod all else. Mum! Let's start again. Dad, this is Helen, the girl who... I know who she is, the girl whose footsteps go boom, boom, boom! <laughs> Don't look so sharp, Tails. It's like Jurassic Park some days. <laughs> and you're no angel either, Mrs Flop Scoop Flop. Rob. I'm confused. Dad was supposed to be at the Antiques Fair all weekend, but when he heard about dinner, he came home early. Oh, it was water wall junk anyway. Oh, it's like I've never left. What? Mum, what about drinks for our guests? Oh, good idea. I'll raid the cleaning supplies. Sorry to spring this on you, Helen, but Dad's home now, so we can crack on. What, in front of our parents? <laughs> no, with them. To end their quarrel. That is what you said you wanted to discuss over dinner. Yeah, but uh, I don't think they'd be involved. I'm not. I'm here for me newspapers. I know she's stealing them. Oh, we're off to a good start, are we? I hope this isn't a bad omen. Nah, that bus out with me can apes. Let's mean you go to the pub. Oh, you got money, right? Well, I wish you'd reconsider, Helen. Oh, chicken cottage, I've got coupons. Don't you feel like... Fate has brought us together for a reason, Helen. Like, this is all part of a much bigger plan. <laughs> mm. You seem a tad overwhelmed. Should we postpone? Not until you've had your drink. <gasps> no! <laughs> ah! Can I go up to my rug? My dog, where feedback is hanging by a thread. <laughs> no, not overwhelmed, Rob. Quite the opposite. Yes. Look, just make yourself at home. Somebody else's. Hey, excuse us. If you go through with this, I will not be responsible for my actions. Well, why start now? I mean it, Helms. Look, I know this isn't ideal, but Rob is obviously really into me, so if you just play your cards right, you'll have me married off in no time. Hmm, you gone or Nobby as an in-law? It's like Sophie's choice. <laughs> oh, is it? Really, which one of your children did you abandon to a Nazi death camp? The wrong one. <laughs> After the wedding, I never talked to Nobby again. Oh, we should all be so lucky. Have we got any wine? What do you think I'm running here? Downtown Abbey? Oh. <laughs> Mum! Oh, booze you want? Here you are. The gypsies are back on the marshes. I traded in our pots and pans for some cider. We've got a chicken cottage loyalty card. What do we need pans for? Keep Nobby occupied. Rob, do you want to come help me with dinner? Sure. What are we having? Slow motion car crash. <laughs> You've got some nerve, Nobby. Didn't 
didn't have to be like this, Jackie. We had a good thing going. Yeah, a secret thing. But you had to go bragging about it. I know the whole of the antique trade knows. Nobody sleeps with me and boasts about it. <laughs> Let me take you back to the Christmas club, do. Moments before you passed out and you've been to Lou. Impossible, cos you didn't invite me. Yeah, there you were at Gino's, lying in wait like a drunk leopard. And three pints of vino later, you spilled the X-rated beans and got us both banned from the Tottenham auction rooms. Well, considering what we were doing in their broom cupboard, we're probably due. <laughs> auction house was half my income, much like eBay and Gumtree were yours. Well, you did me a favour, cos I'm cleaning up on the Yorkshire equivalent of the dark web. You can sell anything on eBay, Gumtree. <laughs> <laughs> you mark my words on. Is this care? <laughs> In a manner of speaking. I know you're on your last warning with a council, Jackie, but if I can prove you're keeping a cat here, there'll be no more boom, boom, boom and flop, scoop, flop, and I'll finally be able to plaster me ceiling. Oh, knock yourself out, mate, because you're the one person that ain't getting a whiff of this old cat. <laughs> it says we need a saucepan. Who needs a saucepan when you've got a chicken bucket? How do we use a saucepan? <sighs> Rob, I watch a lot of Master Chefs, and real chefs do not use saucepans. They use a sous vide water bath. That's a kettle. No, sous vide. It says right there. What about the plastic? Shh, be melting your mouth. Come on, help me with the broccoli. <laughs> I am telling you, you won't find a cat. Then what's killing all these rats? Oh, we think that's Helen's foot cream. <laughs> this is surprisingly tasteful for you. Hmm, I bought that for Helen's 18th birthday. Not that she thanked me. She thought she was getting a car. Why is it they all want a car? All I ever got was a dirty magazine and a firm handshake. <laughs> I miss Mother. I don't know what she needed a car for anyway. I've got the whole world up here. Paris. Tuscany. <laughs> Croydon. <laughs> but Helen thinks my whole collection's a load of toss. She's got a good eye. Helen, mm. are you sure this is broccoli? Mm. It has a cream cheese label in it. It's fusion. It's melting. It's because you're chopping it wrong. Oh, well, then perhaps you could show me? It's got to be closer than that, Helen. Come on, then. If it's any consolation, my Rob doesn't have much of an eye for beauty either. Ah, this is starting to make sense. <laughs> no, Rob's only got eyes for his missionary work. Tries to convert every poor soul he meets. Oh, <laughs> still miracles do happen. I've got a year's laundrette out of this. <laughs> it's the travel that keeps me awake at night. Rob's determined to bring light to the most godless parts of the world. Well, if he's interested, I've got a bull bat in the bog. Oh, I just fear for an innocent boy like Rob far away from home. He's bound to get wrapped up in the wrong hands. <laughs> night, darling, I hunger for your touch. <sighs> <laughs> I blame myself for pushing him away. I just smothered him when we lost his mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I never knew. What took her? Fishmonger from Cairo. <laughs> that was an old easy to forget. But I took a real shine of geezer. Seems like your wife did too. <laughs> My geezer bolted the day Helen was born. Last scene, sprinting up the high street, shell suits and mullet flapping in the breeze. <laughs> the 80s, eh? <laughs> no, that was last year. I've tried to move on, but when you're a single parent, it's hard to, to try mean to... new people. 
Try finding a nightclub with a kid's menu. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got anything that ain't piss? You naffa! That's premium cider. Gypsy's kiss? The travellers bottle it for me personally. I recall you got a secret stash in your room. It's mostly confiscated Baileys. Our Helen's a creamy cryer. Go on, <laughs> let's have a slurp and I'll give up the hunt for the cat. Go on then, let's have a quick one. And don't call off the hunt just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Helen, this isn't going to work. Shh, we'll make it. No, the, the book is turned into paste and it's burning my hand. Oh! oh. Was that phone in your pocket? You just placed it. It's my phone. But I'm covered in what I choose to believe is cream cheese. Uh, could you reach in and grab it? To be clear, we're talking about your phone, right? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Sarah? Who's Sarah? Oh, you've got a sister. <gasps> Just like the Argos catalogue promised. Sarah's my fiance. You're marrying your sister? <laughs> no, my soulmate. We met on a dating site for Christian missionaries. Plentyofbreadandfish.com. You're a missionary? Yes. In fact, tomorrow we're off to the tropics for a jazzy new mission. Parables for cannibals. Dinner's off. We're hoping the cannibals have the same reaction. <laughs> oh, which reminds me, I thought Bible saver for you and your mum. Mum! The soiree is over, nobody can sod off now. We're not... Where are they? Don't give up faith, Helen. Uh, read a little Matthew with me. You know, it's the fastest way to love thy neighbour. <gasps> mum! I stand corrected. <laughs> oh my God, is that my Bailey's? Something on fire. I'll say it is. Oh. <laughs> the kettle! So it was a kettle. Though lying is a sin, Helen. You could go to hell. Good. I could use holiday. <laughs> Are you supplying these to the fire brigade? Nah. Schools. <laughs> what time's dinner? Don't. Oh, not the rug, Helen. There's a real fire extinguisher out in the hall. Good. Because the rug's now on fire too. <laughs> My feedback. Helen, I think God is sending us a message through our parents. Wear protection. God has a plan for our souls, Helen. Yep, and he sends them to ruin my night. <laughs> what are you doing? Listing the things you've ruined. Kettle, rug, life, it goes on and on. The first one wasn't even my fault. I was a baby. An £11 baby. <laughs> it didn't slow you down, did it? <laughs> well, at least one of us got to enjoy a little bit of missionary tonight. <laughs> they don't believe in sex before marriage, do they, that lot? Well, mm. sod em. You've got to sample the banana before you commit to the whole bunch. <laughs> one of the reasons that you're banned from Tesco Express. Can we just change the subject, please? For what it's worth, Hals, I think you dodged a bullet there. Feels like the bullets are dodging me. Not dodgy forever. You're too hard to miss. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope you're right. Cos life has set me up for a lot of disappointments. Oh, bar off, will you? Your dad promised you that car, not me. And as usual, the rotten old sod did a runner and left me to pick up the pieces, literally. <sighs> How did you learn to glue like this? Well, your dad and I used to throw a lot of crockery at each other when we were courting. He missed a lot, you know. Mm, that's bad aim. No, no, Christmases, birthdays, trick-or-treating. As I recall, our trick-or-treating had a strong element of distraction burglary. I am just saying to you that we did it on our own, me and you. That's not what you told the police. <laughs> you can make light of it, Hells. I've no idea what I had to go through to keep you fed and watered. <laughs> I'm not a horse. <laughs> well, a horse would have been cheaper. I wouldn't have changed it for the world. I know you're a big mare now, but you'll always be my little pony. <laughs> Mum. And I know one day some bloke will come along and winch you off your feet. But until that time, let's be nice to each other and spend more quality time together. You know, I've always wondered about that vase. 
What's the story? Well, Jackie, it's only six minutes before the pill wears off. <laughs> what is he still doing it? And why is he wearing my dressing gown? Jackie. All right, I'm coming. You're not actually... What happened to our quality time? The bullet doesn't always have your name on it, Alice. <laughs> but, God, it's nice to get shot at once in a while. Oh. Rufus! I'm coming, love, I'm coming. <laughs> I'll teach you how to glue that tomorrow. See? Quality time. Night, night. Next, snuggle up to your partner for a couple's edition of MasterChef. Watch out for some undercooked canapes. What the hell's a canapé? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, love. I'm here for a rug off e-bag gum tree. Be very honest with tip feedback. 